Hello everyone, my name is Cor Polmanay. I'm here with another cast. This is going to be an instructional video on how to do an 11 minute plus 1 1 roach push. Now, I like to use this uh, push against Protoss just because it is also both a very good defense and a very good attack. And you can just, you can modify it in a lot of different ways. You can expo off of it, you can go ahead and grab a spire and infestation and try to attack the quick brood lords if you'd like. There's just a lot of different variations you can do with this build, but uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you the all-in uh, two-base push. You know, just making it just a pure, you know, trying to end the game push, and it is incredibly powerful. It is pretty much meant to punish Protoss, who go for any uh, quick Colossus. It also punishes them if they're trying to go for like a five-gate uh, expo, and just things like that. Uh, some things to be noticed about it is you got to be worried about quick 5 gates, uh, it is not a very good defense for a 4 gate because it just comes way too fast. So if you see a 4 gate coming, you gotta modify the build. Um, and this build, uh, it does work best if you can get that 14 hatch up and running without any real harassment problems. It does work best when you do that. Uh, it can work if you go ahead and do like an 18 hatch if, you, if you're forced to put down a pool first. It can work very well with that as well, it's just you're gonna have a little bit less roaches and you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful about your timings. So I'm over here, I'm in the uh, bottom left hand position, my name is Corp Holmane, I'm the Red Zerg, my opponent is going to be Aaron, he's going to be in the top left hand corner, and he's the Blue Protoss. Now this map is Typhoon Peaks, uh, big thing to notice about this map, why, I love, why the 11 minute Roach push can be so powerful, is because the natural is very wide open. And there's a little choke leading to it, but once you get past that choke, it's a wide open natural, so very very easy to take advantage of. Just try to make sure that you don't get caught in this choke right here, because force fields can really do a number on you. Um, important thing to notice when you do the 11 minute roach push is um, if you do get force fielded and cut in half with the roaches you have, instead of targeting as other units or whatever, try to target fire and snipe the full energy sentries. So those are probably the most important units that a, that a Protoss has from early to mid game, is those sentries. And if you can take them out, that's a big commitment from him, that's 100 gas and 50 minerals per sentry. And that can really wear down on him. And so you want to try to take those out. Also notice that if he does get Immortals out, uh, you got to wait for him to miss micro with those Immortals. Because the second those Immortals get too close to your Roaches, you can just rush them all in and just target fire and kill them all. Which is pretty much what you want to do if you do see Immortals out on the field. So I'm doing a regular thing. My 10th drone, I'm sending to Scout. Because it is a large map, so I'm trying to see where my opponent is. Uh, I did take my 13th drone, I am going to hide him behind the mineral line to grab a 14 hatch just in case he did scout me early, and he did scout the wrong way so I don't have to worry about that. Now I am going to scout him, I'm going to see nothing out of the ordinary, you know, he's getting the simulator, he has that chrono boost build up, I can't really tell at this point in time, but I do notice that he's using it on workers. I do see the gateway, now I'm leaving my drone here because I want to make sure that thing stays a gateway. He hasn't scouted me yet, so I'm very very thankful about that. And I'm also keeping another drone down here by the ramp. Simply because it also is very popular to do a three pylon block off of your ramp. And that can just be nasty. So I am going to do a patroller down here just to make sure that he can't do that. Because I am afraid of that. So I'm going to run around. I'm going to try to delay the Cybernetus core a little bit. I do delay it by about 50 minerals. Not that big of a deal, but every little bit helps. He's going to run back over here. I guess bring up my production tab would help. Now I did a 14 hatch, 15 pool. Because when the pool pops, that is when your hatchery will pop and you should have 300 minerals as long as you don't get a gas. So you are delaying your gas quite a bit in this build. Uh, an awesome thing to note is that you are being very, very greedy with this build. Okay, So you have to make sure, so you got to watch out for those early pushes. Because if you're not ready for those early pushes, like a 4 gate off of a 3 gate expo push, you know, if you're not, you're not going to be ready for that so you, unless you scout it really early. So you got to be careful about that sort of stuff. So hatch is up, pool is done, I'm feeling pretty good right now, I'm getting both queens, there's no need to do that with my drone anymore. Now I'm going to build a spine crawler here right away, because it's becoming very very popular nowadays to do like a uh, zealot stalker uh, aggression push, and it, is, it has become more popular, and it is incredibly annoying to deal with if you don't have a spine crawler, but if you have a spine crawler up, and just like a queen, you can go ahead and hold that off with almost no trouble at all and it's not really an issue. So I'm getting my units up. I'm still getting two queens. I'm getting uh, two sets of zerglings, which is four zerglings. I'm going to get two to control the Zelnaka watchtowers and another two to guard his ramp, to poke up his ramp and see what he's got. Now, because of Typhoon Peaks, I'm not going to have an Overlord in position in order to scout to make sure that it's nothing funky. 
So I'm going to rely a lot on what I see are his first units are. And he is going zealot, uh, sent, he is going zealot sentry sentry. So these two are going over here. I'm going to control the Zelmaka watchtowers. Spawning larva as soon as both of those guys are done. And as you can see, I'm spending all my minerals on drones. Now what I'm doing, instead of mirandering drones, I'm actually making the rally point for both bases and my naturals mineral line. So I got both towers controlled. I got my two lings over here. I'm gonna send him over here to his ramp to see what he's got. He's building two gate two more gateways. So it is indeed going to be a three gate expo. Now with my drone I did see him get a second gas. So that's pretty important. So I ran up and I saw the two sentries and I saw the zealot. So I pretty much know it's gonna be a three gate expo. That's what I'm pretty much assuming right now. Because if you got the two sentries and then went to like an air build, it wouldn't make any sense. Or like a DT rush, I'm pretty sure isn't going to happen now, but simply because of all those sentries. Those sentries tell you a lot. So I'm still droning up. I'm getting quite a few drums. I got my third queen out now. I am going to go ahead and connect my natural and my main first with some with some creep spread. I'm still droning. Now, when I got my gases, I got two gases at once because I'm trying to get to lair. You want lair about 7 minutes to 7.30. That's when you want your lair. So I'm still droning up, still droning up, I am grabbing my fourth gas. So you're grabbing your two gases first, getting some drones on them, and then you're grabbing your third and fourth gases almost right away. Now as you can see right now, it's 37 to 28 harvesters. I'm not quite at full saturation yet, but I'm getting pretty close. I am already have my roach worn up. I put that down about to 6.30, uh, 6.20 mark, as when you generally want to do it. Now you want to get both evo chambers at about 7, 7.30 as well. So after you start morphing the uh, lair. So I got my lair going. I seem to be forgetting to spawn larva, which is kind of annoying for me now that I'm looking at it, I guess. Oh, shit. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. Speed up a little bit. So I'm forgetting to spawn larva a little bit. Try not to do that, guys. I can be pretty de detrimental. Now, when you start getting out your roaches, you gotta watch your supply. Okay, because those roaches, are you're gonna be pumping them out really, really fast. Your supplies can get locked super, super fast. So you gotta watch out for that. I find it spawn larva. Now I'm getting the plus one range, and I'm getting the plus one armor once you have the minerals for it. Okay. Now, when this layer finishes, you wanna get speed. Not burrow, speed. Because most people do a 3 gate X, so are probably gonna have some cannons up somewhere. So the burrow isn't gonna do anything for you. It may help with force fields, but with good micro, it'll help with force fields anyways. So now, Getting those out, as you can see, I'm just pumping roaches. My supply is at 70 already, so I'm getting ahead of him. Now he has his expo up. Now he does indeed have a robotics facility, and he is going to get an observer out here, so he is probably going to see what I'm doing. But that's okay. Now remember, if you push and you see like five immortals, just back off, make a transition to hydras, grab an expo, and then fight with roaches and hydras, and generally you can hold off any sort of push he tries to do. So I'm still popping out roaches, I'm still getting my upgrades on them. This observer should be out. There it is. I might get see my roaches, it might not, I don't really know right now. I'm just watching this replay again. So I'm making sure I have good overlords still. I'm still getting overlords. Now I am getting an overseer because I want to know what his unit composition is like. So right now he has three gateways, a robotics facility, and that's pretty much all he's got. So he doesn't really have a lot, and he does have a lot of sentries right now. So he flies over and he does notice a whole bunch of roaches. And now he's going to see both my evo chambers going. Now this isn't a very common push to do in ZVP. Lots of Protoss have not seen this before. Um, now if you're part of the clan known as VP, you have seen this because I've done it, and AP Bullet does this as well. And as you can see now, he's adding on a lot more gateways. So he's getting ready to go into some sort of aggressive move right now. Now he sees that I have the Overseer, but I'm scouting everything. I caught everything that he's doing. I know what he's got, I know he's got a robotic facility, I know what he's up to. So we're at 1040, and now I'm starting to push out with Rookers. They have the speed on them, they have the plus one one on them. And as you can see, I'm still ahead of supply, and this is what he's got so far. So I'm getting a little bit of supply blocked because I wasn't paying attention, but that's okay. I'm still getting more and more roaches. So at 11 minutes and 5 seconds, I have 34 roaches. 
that's generally the number you want if you do this right. I have 48 drones, he has 49 pro, not too big of a difference in there, we're pretty much equal on everything. The only difference though, is the army supply. I have 69 of it, and he only has 47, so I have more army than he does. And they have plus 1-1, one, one. he has plus zero, 0 This is gonna matter a lot. So, I'm gonna grab my roaches, about 11 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and push in. It doesn't have to be exactly 11 minutes, but it helps. So I'm pushing in. Now, before this battle starts, I'm rushing in here and I'm microing his roaches, and the first thing I see is he gets a whole bunch of sentries right out here in the front. I like to see this. If I charge into an army, and I see that he has all of his sentries is chilling out here in the front, best thing to do when you have all these roaches, this is charge straight at him, straight at him, get right up into his face. So look, that's exactly what I'm doing. Charging right at him, and right up into his face. And look what happens. Because this is a whole bunch of full energy sentries right away. He's losing a whole lot more. His force ones are going to be way down. Now I am target firing the cost. The immortals, you see how fast those immortals go down when you have that many rookers with plus one on them? So at this point or whatever, it's pretty much game. Oh, 137 to 78. I'm remax. I'm re-getting more units, I'm just continuously spawning larva, I'm still attacking him, and he just doesn't have the units he needs in order to kill me. Now, he is target firing me, which is good, but at this point, I don't really need to target fire, I am in such a commanding position, 64 to 125. But you see how devastating having that plus 1-1 one, one on them is? Look, they have 2 armor, they have 18 damage, I mean, they're just doing, they just do crazy damage, and they're crazy hard to kill right now. So you focus fire that nexus. Now, if you can focus fire and kill that nexus, and you've already killed most of his army, that's that's game. You've just won the game. Now, I did send two roaches down here to make sure he didn't grab a quick third. So I'm going up here, and he puts his more out in front again. I'm attacking him, and I'm attacking him, and he just doesn't have enough. I have too many roaches. I got more roaches just chilling back here, and he just leaves the game. He doesn't give me a GG. Now, at this window, the 11 minute mark, it catches a lot of Protoss off guard. That is the point when they are the weakest. They're not expecting any sort of crazy push to come then. It's, now, they might be expecting like an all-